Hello and welcome to the Mentisic Live Conference. My name is Neda Habibi. I'm a coordinator of the nanotechnology program at Northwest Research College in San Antonio. Also with the Micro Nanotechnology Education Center, I'm collaborating as co-PI. Today I will be presenting demonstration of a self-assembly process for undergraduate students. So one of the things that students want to know is how nanostructures are synthesized when they are in such a small scale. So one of the answers to this question is through the self-assembly process. Self-assembly is a bottom-up approach, is a spontaneous approach where molecules come together, they stick together, and spontaneously they make nanostructures. The driving force for the self-assembly process is intermolecular interactions, such as hydrophobic interactions, hydrophilic interactions, electrostatic interactions. So without any external force, without any help from outside, without any chemical interactions, or without any uh, devices, these molecules can stick together to make a nanoparticle. Self-assembly is an important technique that is used in nanotechnology. And so demonstrating how self-assembly works is an important concept to teach to the students. In nature, we have a lot of self-assembling molecules. Uh, DNA is a self-assembling molecule. Also the biological membrane of human cell is a self-assembling layer. One of the things that do in nanotechnology, especially in nanobiotechnology, is getting inspiration from nature, how nature makes a self-assembling structure that are often in nanoscale, how, getting inspiration from nature and making human-made objects that are in the same size, uh, nano and micro scale. One of the natural molecules that has self-assembling properties is peptides and proteins. Uh, especially one of these peptides is called D-phenylalanine. This D-peptide is um, made of two phenylalanine groups. As you can see in this picture, it does have two aromatic hydrophobic groups. When six of these uh, FF units come together, they make a hexamer. And once these hexamers are stacked together, they make a, uh, narrow channels. And these narrow channels will come together to make a nanotube. And once these tubes come together in the uh, assembly process, they can make microtubes. Uh, this is a complete spontaneous process. And these uh, peptides, they can make a nanotubes, microtubes uh, with a complete self-assembling process. The role of uh, intermolecular interaction in this self-assembly process is a very interesting idea to teach to the students. As you can see in this picture, these peptides can make nanotubes, can make spherical particles, they can make nanowires, so nanofibers. The application of these um, nanostructures spans in different areas. They can be uh, used as a support for culturing human cells. They can be used for encapsulating drug molecules in drug delivery. They can be used in sensors and also in nanofabrication. So they have a lot of industry applications, especially in pharmaceutical and biomedical engineering industry. In this self-assembly process, we need the D-peptide powder, which can be purchased from Sigma or any other company that provides a lab material. And an organic solvent, which you can see in this picture, hexafluoropropanol, is an organic solvent that this peptide could be solved in. And one of the um, things that could be taught to the students is why we are using an organic solvent because of the hydrophobic interactions of the peptides. Uh, once the stock section is prepared and we dilute with water, the self-assembly process will immediately begin in the solution and we're going to have nanotubes and microtubes spontaneously. All we have to do is put a drop on a support such as silicone and then characterize it with a scanning electron microscopy and uh, we can see that uh, there are tubes formed in solution, we have nanoparticles and we also have uh, microtubes. The teaching objective for this very simple hands-on demonstration is uh, for the students to understand uh, how self-assembly is used to make nanostructures and the role of molecular interactions 
in making a self-assembling layer or nanoparticle. Thank you so much for listening.